I burnt out in the stock market about three months ago, but put 50000 in this account, went down, had a small moment in the beginning of 2019, and then it was just down and down and down and then a little up again and then COVID knocks it to that 50,000 down to 75% drop to 16,000. I don't just go back to 50, but I leverage all of these positions three or four fold. So really they just went back to 24 but I made it to 50 and I did the same thing again when it dropped back here and then leveraged it up to the 125 and we had a really sad summer wasn't the summer we anticipated with all the positivity about summer and then back in the clear again things are going to be fine everything's great we're going to start consuming a lot more oil people are going to go back to macy's and shop all solid companies nothing sketchy here shell oil what a story this is i mean down seven percent right now Shell Oil trading at an, just an unbelievably low price, given the history of this company. Very, very strong earnings. Extremely strong earnings. What is wrong with them? Five years ago, they were higher. I should put another fucking... I should put 100 grand into the stock. It's Shell Oil. They're coming back, I can assure you of that. I mean, this is a very low price. Really high dividend, too. Aurora Cannabis. That was a value play. Most of my stocks are, but it wasn't a company I, that has any real reason to believe in it. Other than the fact that they really believed in it. Like a $10 billion, $20 billion company, and now it's not even barely worth a billion. Just an absolute devastating run for shareholders who, who got in at 80. They got in this baby at around 950. I think I was in it earlier at a lower price. There's been a lot of gain taking here. Wells Fargo. Tangier at Wells Fargo is another interesting story. I mean, the stock hasn't seen these lows, and I wish they showed you a 10-year graph because I don't think it's even been this low in 10 years. It's like nobody's paying attention to this. It's another weird one. Um, Tangier outlets, my goodness. People are going to go to those outlets again, I can assure you. And Tangiers will be ready to take their money. Even if they are short a tenant or two right now. I'm not seeing the business slow down that the market's been claiming to keep itself low. I don't see the downturn. Everywhere I go is has a line that I've never seen before. It's like we're f doing five times the economics that we did pre-COVID. Webster Bank, that's a personal play. Mac, another Tangiers, another commercial restaurant type renting place. What low is it saying from a high of 30? Unbearable. 86 to 7. They're having a rough five years, just like Aurora Cannabis. Nordstrom just blows me away that the company could be worth just two billion. It's absolutely unbelievable to me how poorly the market looks at them.
Wrangler moves its jeans to Nordstrom? And that's a, that's a bonus for them? That should drop the stock. <sighs> Unbelievable. I don't know if they're really this incompetent, but if I had Nordstrom, it wouldn't just be worth two billion. My God, Macy's is the same story. I'm like, the, the company doesn't innovate. My God, this is another Aurora cannabis story. This was to be expected. This shedding when the, this for. With the growth of online shopping, the continued growth. That wasn't a really reasonable comeback. But once it starts getting under 20, it's like, really? This is Macy's. Under 15, and it's like, oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. And then, oh... It can drop to five. Could it just go right under? I mean, it's just dropping and dropping. What is what are the CEOs doing there all day? What are the presidents and board of directors doing the last five years? Just watching it drop at an enormous rate and then drop again? And then we're just gonna let it go completely after a hundred years? You know? They're bracing for unrest. Who gives a shit about unrest? It's Macy's. This one deserves to suffer. I'm still looking at it like a value play. I'm up 11% and I have it at, at like a 20 year low. Oh my god. I don't really like supporting Denny's, but when they're giving it away. <laughs> It's like, I gotta do something. This is a track of the financial indexes. Because I'm just not buying that banks are going to go down to their 5, 10 year lows and, and stay there. I mean, I really just don't buy that. I didn't buy it in 2008. I didn't have any much money at the moment to um, take advantage of that obvious market return rebound that was that happened in 2009 <laughs> but I'm just not buying that the financial sector is going to be a failure forever I just I'm not gonna buy that AT&T after you know ages and ages of of um, vacillating between the the high 20s and the high 40s, just particularly a 30 to 40 range, is going to not return from 27. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. This is the time that AT&T doesn't come back. That it just stays at 27 becomes a hundred billion dollar company and their whole telecom leadership just doesn't return to its former glory. CVS, I, oh, I don't, I didn't mean to get that much CVS. I had an option that was in the money and they bought me the stock. I wasn't even aware that it worked quite like that. I don't do a lot of options. Now I own a ton of CVS. And the cost basis of 55 because of the option. It's at 65. I sold a little today, like six or eight thousand of it, just to shed it because it's not like it's beyond disrepair. I mean, it's it's a seventy dollar stock, really. I mean. It's going for 40 times what Macy's is going for. I 
think it's got room to go up. I really do. I had a hundred stocks. Now I'm down to like 20. I consolidated. These are the former stocks I had. Ford, Goodyear, Dollar Tree, Volvo. I was riding the Volvo train for a little while. I think I rode it from like the 9 to 12 range. But oh look, it did more than that. It came back more than that, didn't it? There was probably room to grow yet. I didn't buy Adobe. I feel like they're actually a little overvalued Adobe. A lot, a lot overvalued in my opinion. What they offer isn't that mind-boggling. They're selling for more than Bank of America, by the way. Not just a moderate. Same thing with Netflix. Way overvalued. But I lost a ton of money shorting these stocks. Because they just kept becoming more and more overvalued. To a point of absolute insanity. There was nothing I could do to hold on anymore. I think we're at the forefront of a massive tech collapse but for all we know it drags on for six years before it realizes itself and who can sustain that Sherwin Williams what's the market cap 66 billion they making that much paint That would be an easy site to compete with. All they do is network buyers and sellers, and they're worth $800 billion, almost a trillion. That's obscene. That's ridiculous. That's an easy model to compete with, too. It's easy to, to network buyers and sellers. You don't need to technology that an Amazon has. HP, I think, has a lot of upward mobility. The airlines. Now AT&T still, I mean, American Airlines is still hammered down there, huh? Wow, would have thought it would be around 15, 16 by now. That's surprising. They took a real hit. And it seems to be short-lived in my opinion. But they could bankrupt in the meantime. <laughs> so, it's a dangerous play, the airlines. You're almost guaranteed a return, but there's some risk there. Alaskan, I think I got out in the low 30s. Alaskan, I just felt like Alaskan was desolate enough to, to be a successful COVID airline. But they would only have a half-filled plane to begin with. That was my motivation there. JetBlue, wow, well, they really pushed the, the bankruptcy. Uh, because people are sick and can't fly for a little bit. They gotta go bankrupt. MasterCard, PayPal's a joke. Stupid, stupid idea. <laughs> Not gonna make it. I might be wrong about that. <laughs> PayPal might actually make it. I just think they're easier to face competition than a regular bank. Amazons can only last so long. You know. They 
can't maintain that type of a stronghold forever. Don't get me started on Apple, which I believe to be a, almost a joke. I got out of the metals too soon. I think I was I got out of here at 120 or something. Let's see. Because I got in, in the, under a buck. I should have got in deeper, honestly. I think I got out around the 140s. Another 25% gain followed it up. Had some fun with the 3X leveraged ETFs. Nail, this was a story. I remember this was a story. I down to five bucks. I think I was in this at ten. I think I got out at like eighteen. I mean, this was like I really believed it was gonna come back to a ridiculous point too, but I didn't want to wait around with it because it was it's just something I can't really fucking understand to be honest. So the fuck it is. I was never a big believer in the Darden restaurants. I think Olive Garden's a bit of a joke. I mean, it's like a fast food restaurant, really. This is Smoky Bones. And Red Lobster. They don't impress me much. This is another joke. Dropped at 21 in the height of the uh, opening wellspring of COVID. 300 now. Makes sense, though, in the age of Amazon that a company like that, if they're going to compete, is worth that increase. Why it dropped in the first place, I don't even understand. eBay's going cheap, really. I mean, they, why are they, why can't they figure it out? I feel like this company's got a lot of room to grow, even at their yearly high. <laughs> eBay doesn't look like it's going to. Like it's at a height or something. Like I could see it going up to 150, honestly, or 200. If they're gonna get their act together, though. Oh, it shows my history here. Don't tell me I bought it at six. No, that's not the price I bought it. Oh, that's the one share I bought to track it. I would buy one share of everything to track where I was selling it at. back where I am. One. Where's the real buy? Oh. There it is. Buys it at 312. Buys more at 310. Sells at 672. 
doesn't even like it, realizes it wants to get out of it, thinks it was a mistake buying it. And yes, it was. The movie theaters are a tough one in today's age. That's an industry that really took it. The movie theaters are an industry that really took it. Gilead Sciences, Cody. Shoot, what did I do with Cody? Did I profit at least on this? I was into Cody a lot. Buy, buy, sell, sell, buy, buy, buy. I think they could just put a little number at the top and tell you what your average gain was. transaction be a buy. Do I own it? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm even on the stock. And I'm up 21% for the day. It's a strong comeback of a day, huh? Bitcoin, well, I, I wanted to hold it to 100000 but it's just it's too upsetting that you didn't buy it at a dollar to, to get it at, at 15000 It's like, I said no at a dollar, now I'm going to buy it at 15000 a share at 15000 times more than what it was. That's hard to live with, but I bought it at 10 and I sold it at 12 I'm in a video, right? 